This is Module 12, Technology Innovations, presented by Daniel Prey. We'll be taking a look at an article we read and two videos that were attached. The MIG takeaways from the article and the videos is that there is a plan, a national education technology plan, that calls teachers and teacher stakeholders and administrators into action, a vision for learning embedded through technology that has real world examples in it through accessibility of technology, using devices, connectivity, and having resources. The article and video also broke down in what that looks like through learning, teaching, leadership, and assessments. Lots of things that we're going to talk about, what we're using, what we're not using here at St. George. We broke down what the learning looks like. Does it look like a routine? Is it readily available? Does it support our goal? All the different, all the different things that we have, such as but not limited to mobile devices, interactive whiteboards, podcasts, blogs, Google Docs. As far as the teaching section goes, we have different levels of teaching and integrating technology into our classroom from the entry spots. What do, what do teachers? They only do what they know, as opposed to, and they're reluctant to change, as of jumping all in, as opposed to the other end of that, which would be the invention side of things for kids and for students, and that would be giving them the ability and the freedom to look and choose to what they want to research and what they want to look up at within the given parameters. And it might be something that is individual, uh, is individualized and definitely self-paced. And then all of them in between, are we teachers that just test the waters on this kind of stuff? Are we going to kill and drill it um, and only get in a little bit? Are we going to try to get technology into our lesson plans and see where we can fit it in to make the most meaning and engaged? Um, are we going to try and control and be specific with our technology uses. The leadership section of it, training for teachers and administration as an added cost of technology. Can we look at something, not only buy it, but know that we're going to have an added cost? Can we make smart choices about technology that is proven? Can we monitor and val evaluate what we have and see where we're going in the future? And can we connect it back to our standards and our objectives? And in the assessment piece of taking a look at it and seeing what's working and what's not, and also looking at that data. What we're currently using in St. George. In Mr. Prey's classroom in third and fourth grade, the learning piece of <clears throat> we are currently using game-based learning such as reflex math such as Spiro bots I say game-based learning which projects that we put together maybe more project-based learning for those Spiro bots um, made with code definitely game-based learning integrated through technology our mobile devices that we have such as our i pads that we use. We don't let them bring in their mobile devices, but we have iPads here for them. We're one to two. <clears throat> we do all have interactive wipe-off boards. We have got into the Google Docs. In fact, all of my data for some of my math scores is input into Google Docs and then it is presented to me and the grades are calculated right away. It's a very nice tool for me. And based off module 10, I believe, the digital citizenship piece was also put in. As far as teaching goes and what it looks like in my classroom, some of my invention model is has to do with self-paced in math. My theme class, which is science, is definitely integrated in technology and definitely self-paced. My reading class, 
on certain skills is integrated into technology such as spelling. But I would say that area is probably lacking the most. As far as our leadership goes, in training, we just had a training on how to check out laptop carts and laptops. And we'll talk about the added costs of iPads, but we do have iPads and do have money to fix those. In fact, I just got my projector fixed earlier this year my smart board um, being something that we had looked at and found and not just jumped right in. We tried different, we talked to different people, so we were making smart choices there. And anything that we do, we're connecting back to our objectives and our state standards. And the assessment piece I have for taking grades. Uh, I also have for any of the different quizzes that we do online. What's missing from my classroom? Well, I would say that a blended classroom is missing from my classroom, as I'm not 100% what that is. The mobile devices, if you're just talking about on handheld devices and not iPads, they are missing from my classroom. Podcasts, we have not got into podcasts, although that's something as I want to look into. There are several good authors that we could bring into on podcasts. Blogs, they don't do a lot of blogging. If we ever get into Google Classrooms, that's something that is in the future. Social media, we have not got into as they are third and fourth graders. And as I would feel that they are not ready for that piece of it yet. The teaching, what would be missing from that? Some of these self-paced overall projects that they can come in. Uh, I have AMs. Accelerated math that's done online that I assign them objectives and they go through. I did. I have done some projects throughout the year, but I say I would say putting more of those in could be more beneficial to them that they can kind of really take ownership over their learning. As far as leadership goes, the piece that is missing is the professional development. As I stated on the last slide, we had one presentation today that was over checking out laptops and the laptop cart. That's not the professional development that I feel would be most beneficial for us. What can the iPads do and how are they going to be most effective in our class? What does Google Docs do? How can it be most effective in our class? What are some of these social media things that we can do in our classroom? Those would be some of the things that I would be that I would be interested in. Apologize for the fire alarm going off as they're working on it in the building today. And as far as the assessment piece, some of we are going through right now and looking at some different assessment fee. We currently use Ames Web Plus. We're looking at First Bridge, I believe is what it's called. So we're going to compare and contrast and see what those can do for us. As a future building administrator, what can I provide for my staff? that's currently going on and what can I provide for them that is not going on. I feel like the big one is professional development. As I've gone through this class and as I've read these articles, the big one that we are lacking in at St. George is giving them opportunity for professional development in technology. The professional development that we provide is very good in CHAMPS, something that we went through this year. Kagan, that's something good, very good through this, through this year but the technology piece has been lacking at St. George. So that's something that I would provide in the future of building into our professional development is not how to lock onto a computer. What are some shortcuts that we can have? How are we going to be most effective with our iPads? What kind of project-based learning can we do with computers, laptops? what's out there, what could a podcast do in our classroom, and getting our teachers to these specific and bringing speakers in that are on these specific topics. There are great things that you can do with Google Docs that can eliminate grading, and I have only touched the surface because I'm the one that trained myself, so who can come in and train us on this and stop wasting our family time? Those are all the things that I would 
to look for as far as sustaining, making sure that we are uh, rewarding teachers for using technology in their classroom, whether that looks like a raffle at the end of every quarter or at the end of every month. My principal currently uses a bingo system, and if you read an article, and if you do this, and if you do that, you get to put your name up on the board, and he provides gift certificates for that. So how can I take that and spin it into um, using technology into our classroom as in an effective manner? Uh, I would like to thank you for watching my presentation on Module 12, and I am sorry about the fire alarms.